ConferZoom is video conferencing software that you can use for free with your Hartnell email address. This video will walk you through the sign-up process as well as show you how to launch your first meeting. To begin, open your browser and go to ConferZoom.org. Click on Sign Up towards the top right of the page. Then enter your information. Make sure to write Hartnell College under the College slash Organization field. Once this form is complete, click Sign Up, which will automatically send a confirmation to your Hartnell email address. Click the link in your confirmation email to confirm your account and set up your login credentials. Now that you've set up your account, let's set up your first meeting. To do so, go back to ConferZoom.org again, but this time click Sign In and enter the credentials you set up during the confirmation process. Under Meetings, click Schedule a new meeting. For this demonstration, let's set up a meeting called Instructor Office Hours, which will give students a space to meet with you virtually. If this is a meeting scheduled for a specific time and date, you can enter that information here, as well as the time you expect to spend in the meeting. In this example, we're going to set up a recurring meeting because we want to be able to hold office hours multiple times throughout the year rather than one specific time and date. I recommend using no fixed time so that you can start and stop the meetings whenever you'd like. Now that you have your meeting set up, let's go into some of the options. You can show the video of the host and participants from the time they log in or you can set it to off so that each person has to specifically turn on their video during the meeting. I recommend setting them both to on so you don't have to manually turn on your video during the meeting. Leave the audio at both as this allows you and your participants to use their computer audio or to call in for audio. You can require a meeting password if you'd like but this is usually unnecessary, as only the people who you send the meeting link will be able to join. If, however, you plan on talking about something confidential and you want to secure the line, you might add a password. I recommend allowing the option to enable join before host, as this allows your participants to join the meeting and wait for you. You will receive an email if participants have joined your meeting early. This is particularly helpful if you are hosting office hours, like in this example. It means that you can have your office hours and wait for the email notification without having to sit there with your webcam on. You can choose to mute participants upon entry, which is helpful for a webinar, but otherwise, you usually don't need to select this. And feel free to use your personal meeting ID, but don't check record the meeting automatically on the local computer you will have the ability to record meetings during the meeting and you will always need to notify your participants that they're being recorded before hitting that record button. You can also add alternative hosts here if you have a coworker with a ConferZoom account. This is totally optional. When you're ready, click Save to set up your meeting. Once the meeting is saved, you can view the meeting details here and select Copy the Invitation to send the join information to your participants. Once you have this copied, you might then paste this information into a Google Calendar invitation, or you might send it via email to someone you'd like to meet with. Either way, it will provide your participants with the information they need to join your meeting. When you're ready to host the meeting, just click the Join URL to get started you will be instantly connected to the virtual meeting room. That's it for now. You've been able to set up a free ConferZoom account and launch your first virtual meeting. There's a lot of great information about the other great features in ConferZoom in the next training, which you can view at hartnell.edu slash pdc slash ConferZoom. Thanks for watching.